John Carlos is a public spreader and all the human rights activists and the former student of this university. He is a member of the USA Track and Field Hall of Fame and the California Sports Hall of Fame and also the recipient of an honorary doctor of the main letters from San Jose State University. As a youth growing up in Harlem, New York, John Carlos was a gifted athlete with an undiagnosed case of dyslexia. He more than compensated for his learning deficits by becoming a gifted communicator and a student who was heavily influenced by his parents, impressed upon him with value of hard work, determination, and sacrifice. During his year at A&M Carlos helped lead his team to the 1967 Lone Star Conference Track and Field Championship by winning the 100-yard dash in 9.5 seconds, the 220-yard dash in a conference record of 21.0 seconds, and anchoring the winning mile relay team with a 46.6-second 440-yard relay leg. His track and field career went on to become something of a legend including the bronze medal in the 200 meters in the 1968 Olympics. In 1969 and 70, he was recognized by track and field news as the world's fastest human for his worldwide dominance as a sprinter. His impressive list at first includes being the first man in history to run 200 meters in 19.7 seconds, the 100 yards in 9.0, and the 100 meter in 9.9, as well as the 200 meter 20.0 all on the same day. He is the first man in history to win the NCAA Supreme Court Grand Slam. Following Carlos's illustrious career in track and field, he went on to offer two books. The first entitled Why, with Rickon with Stevie Jackson and the John Carlos story written with David Zero. The latter was nominated in 2012 for an NAACP. Today, John Carlos is actively involved with in global and community human rights involvements and works tirelessly to promote education and equal opportunity for all people every day in his life as he lectures and speaks to thousands of groups around the world. John is being honored today not only for his excellence in athletics, but also for his commitment to human rights and equal opportunity for all. We are all honored to have him with us today and to now be a part of the, text, the history of Texas A&M University of Congress. Dr. Carlos, will you please join me in the podium?
God. Bless my best I am today. Let's start by saying it's, it's a great honor to come back to the history. To come back to East Texas State, better known as Texas A&M Commerce. I'm so happy to return, you know, 44 years ago I came to this university. Uh, the way that diverse it is today, it shows growth. It shows love and a better understanding in terms of how we can build a society that we can all feel good about ourselves. Before I go any further, let me just thank my wife and my kids because I couldn't do nothing without them. Thank you. 
you so much for coming back to Commerce. You've honored us by your presence and allowed us to express our appreciation to you for all that you've done and all that you continue to do. I know you have a busy schedule and you told me a lot that you had to go home and change suitcases and head for London to be part of the London Olympics, so that makes this visit all the more special. I know you've got a lot of great memories from Commerce and this university. I'd like to present you this small token as a special remembrance of this special day. Texas A&M University of Commerce is committed to serving our military and veteran students. We are fortunate to have a special group of students in